I found something interesting at the souvenir stand. Take a look. What a beautiful necklace. It was probably made before our city even existed. What do you mean? Makeda had a necklace just like that. The Queen of Sheba? There's a mural by the pond with her likeness. We can put the necklace on. But be careful. Some women have strange visions while wearing it. Visions? You're an American, so you probably don't believe in such things. I've never had any visions, though I've put on the necklace thousands of times. Well, why is it in the souvenir stand? It's just it, I'll go see this mural. Okay. An ancient Egyptian mural. But Arabic motifs are interlined with the ancient ones. Okay. An Egyptian mural portraying a dark-skinned woman on a throne. She's very beautiful. Her necklace is just like the one I found. Ooh, movie time. Oh, it's a vision I'm having. Okay. Wow. Africa, 900 BC. Where am I? And who is this strangely dressed man? I think I've traveled back in time. The necklace worked. No, you're supposed to have a vision, not travel back in time. <laughs> and this is who I am now? The evening is so beautiful, I would like to go for a walk through the city among my people. My queen, your humble servant requests that you remain in the palace. Why? The night is so peaceful. I have heard strange noises coming from the jungle. I'm afraid. That's terrible. You, big burly man like you, afraid? <laughs> I'm afraid that it will not be able to protect... That I will not be able to protect you in the city, my queen. What? All right. I shall change my plans. I am now the woman from the mural. And I should act like her. How do you know what she acts like? This is the palace of the beautiful woman I saw on the mural. What an exceptional diversity of styles. The woman on the mural must have been a worldly person. Well, hmm. I should look at the documents lying on the table. They might allow me to understand the situation here better. The Kingdom of Sheba, 951 BC. I remember the day when Tamrin, the most honored of all my merchants, was invited by King Solomon to visit Jerusalem. Solomon ordered him to bring building materials necessary to raise a temple for the God of Israel. Upon returning to Sheba, Tamrin told me how wise and righteous King Solomon was, about the way affairs were settled, and justice was ensured about the feasts he organized and his wise teachings and the way he instructed his servants and magistrates. I was overcome with the desire to meet this wonderful ruler and learn from him. My mind craves knowledge. I want to be a good queen for my people. I held a council with the aristocrats who promised to heed to my decisions. Next page. You've got the next page? Just like, roll it. I set off to Israel, full of hope and very happy that I would meet this great king. I wished to hear his wise teachings and pay homage to him. I had time to prepare a convoy worthy of kings. My caravan was composed of 797 camels. I wonder why was that um, number important, or was it just arbitrary? And countless mules and donkeys. Wow, countless ones. I mean, you could count the camels, but you couldn't count the mules and donkeys. There were that many of them. But the road was very long. Travelled without stopping for six months to reach, to finally reach Israel. The road was difficult, especially for, this, for, for the women. My love for wisdom propelled me onwards. Solomon was very wise. He told me about the one God and taught me how to pray to him. King Solomon showered me with gifts. I fell in love with him and his wisdom, and I loved him because God wanted it so. 
as we retired for the night, we made each oh, we each made an oath. Solomon promised not to take me by force, and I promised not to take anything from his household. Right, let's move on, shall we? I'd like to see an animation of a rolling page. Or the rolling the scroll out. That night I felt an overpowering thirst. I searched for water in the palace, but could not find any. The only water I could find was in a beaker next to Solomon's bed. Um, uh, for some strange reason, all I can... <laughs> all I can envisage... <laughs> this is false teeth. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, why that just flashed in front of me? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> ah dear oh dear I approached it and took a sip not that there would have been any back then I don't know when when did false teeth come into uh, to play was it uh, some of the American presidents had wooden ones was that around maybe the time I don't know anyway I approached it and took a sip that was when Solomon awoke and told me that I had broken my oath my thirst was so great that I released him from his promise, if only he would allow me to quench my thirst. As I soon found out, that night we were blessed with a child, a son, Menelik. When Solomon found out that I was with the child, he proved that his wisdom was great indeed and allowed me to return to my kingdom. He gave me gold, he gave me a, a gold ring, perhaps, one that he took off his own finger. He told me that if I gave birth to a son, I was to send him on a journey to Israel. The king would recognize the boy by the crest on the ring and would claim him as his own. Solomon showered me with many great gifts. He endowed me with beautifully adorned clothes worthy of the mightiest kings as well as 6,000 camels and, oh, wagons. I was there. Uh, Whatever way the, the arms is, I was like, wag arms? What? And wagons filled with priceless treasures for me to take back to my kingdom. Apart from the treasures, Solomon gave me priceless contraptions one that moves over land, one that moves over water, and one that flies through the air. His wisdom enabled their creation. As the Queen of Sheba must be chased, before I could return to my kingdom, I had to give the child I had just given birth to, to my handmaiden Samia, in order to keep the crown. The aristocrats would not allow me to maintain my position if they found out that I had given birth to Menelik, and not my servant. Yet he is always close to me in my bedchambers. Oh, Menelik, I shall miss you terribly when it will be time for us to part so that you may return to your father. Is that it? Aww. Oh, I was enjoying that one. Um. Oh! What's this? Oh! This is the hint thing! That is so cool! Oh, look! Everything's changed. Well, not that. But that's changed and that's changed. That's not changed. That ain't never gonna change. Well, it could have been less refined. What do I do now? Can I... Oh, there is a, a, click, a clicky back arrowy thing. Oh, talk to this spy. My lady, I bring disturbing news. What has upset my trusted servant? I have just confirmed. The, arist the aristocracy. <laughs> the aristocracy. The aristocracy. Oh, some words. <laughs> I've just confirmed. The <laughs> I can't say it. The aristocracy is planning a rebellion. Others have joined them. They want to take your throne, my queen. I refuse to believe it. They have sworn to be faithful to me, and now they have shamefully broken their oaths. My queen, believe me, I beg you. The aristocracy has found out that Menelik is your child. 
How is that possible? I told them. I mean, uh, they could not accept the fact that you kept sending subsidies to Israel, my lady. Their spies have told them that your handmaiden's child is really your own. They are planning to rid me of my throne. My queen, they wish to kill both you and your son. They wait only for the right moment to act. They are gathering, they are gathering an army. They will soon enter the palace to carry out the sentence. A sentence? They rendered without even hearing what their queen has to say? They are spreading the news that you have deceived your people, that you have not stayed chaste and gave birth to Solomon's son, and therefore the throne should be yours no longer. And since you would not forfeit the crown on your own, they will use force to make you do so. Why all this hate? Have I not been a good queen? Have I not done everything in my power to serve my people? My lady, you are a very good queen. I shall do anything within my power for it to stay that way. Thank you, Nahas, for your loyalty and devotion. At your service. Okie dokie, this bit over here. I'm walking through the chambers of an ancient African palace, as it was a thousand years ago. What? The royal table is sagging under the weight of all these delicacies. Oh. Oh, here we go. Pisces, snake, sphinx, parrot, bird, mask, cat, ancient sword, arrowhead, shield. Is that a shield? Nope. This is sphinx. Yeah. Butterfly. Butterfly. There's a wabbit. Was there a wabbit? No, a parrot. Oh, there's a parrot. Wait a minute. That's a. This is a parrot. Signet ring. Ooh, diamonds are forever. Is that a signet ring there? Can't get it. Try it. Elephant. Yay! Bird mask. Oh, there's a butterfly. Do we say butterfly? Yeah. Bird. Is that a bird mask? Wow, it's some early bird. <laughs> A cat! Meow. Oh, sorry. I want to wake you. No, oh, that's the sword. Arrowhead. Arrowhead. Oh, yeah. Shield. Seems to be having a problem finding a shield. Would this be one? Okie doke. A snake. I saw a snake before in the other one. Couldn't, I couldn't have him. Can I move anything? You're hiding a snake. Pisces, this something to do with a fish, isn't it? Um, is it a sundial? I know if I go, I go and get the snake and not the other thing. Snake, snake, snakey snake. Snake, 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 snakey snake! Yay! And. Ow! Oh, fish! Fishy fishies! Woohoo! Solomon will recognize his son by the seal on, the, on this ring. Okay. Arcade. Seriously? Is that it? What do we do? Just come out? Throne room? Ooh, the crest on the shield is like the one on the ring. Do I have to put the ring on? I can move this element. I can? And they're very good. I like this, but this is nice and shiny. I can't switch the elements, only move them where there's an empty space. Hmm. 
What? Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, this is not gonna be easy. Is this an effort? I got this. Great. I've managed to open an ancient safe. Insignia. A sword. Insignia of power. According to legend, the insignia gives unlimited power. Hmm. How do you know that? How do I know all this? How do I even know how to open the safe? Hmm. I didn't even know it was a safe. To open. Come on. Talk to this guy. My lady, we must do what we can to prevent this treachery. Hide the insignia of power so that the serpents do not lay their hands on it. You are right, Nahas. Who holds the insignia of power of my ancestors may sit on the throne and lead the people as the rightful ruler. Where will it be safe? You must find a worthy hiding place. My queen, have you not received valuable gifts from the pharaoh? Hide the insignia in one of the, those chests. No one will look for it in there. And prepare to leave, my lady. You must flee the palace. The chest given to me as gift from the pharaoh? You might be right. Flee? And leave my people to be ruled by the traitors? My lady... The, uh, the aristocrats uh, will not be able to rule the country as long as the rightful queen is alive and as long as they do not hold the insignia of power of, our, of your ancestors. You must flee for your life as they wish to kill both you and Solomon's child. As you wish, Nahas. I will soon be ready. Ooh. One second, I'm gonna pause this. Grant, okay. And over here. Over here. Back to here. Oh, up to here this time. This ancient structure looks just like new. I've never seen anything this extraordinary before. Okay. Bed chambers. Looks like the queen's bed chambers. I can smell exotic perfume. And there's a baby crib by the wall. Foster mother. Samia, how is Men Menelik? He sleeps peacefully, my queen. As soon as he wakes, we must be off. Be off? Where will you go, my queen? You will. Uh, you have always been loyal to me, Samia, so I shall tell you the truth. We are in grave danger. The aristocrats want me dead and aspire to take the throne. Ungrateful serpents! How dare they wish to harm the queen! They must have uncovered the truth. They must know. Well, you're after 
being told that yes, they did. They must know that Menelik is my son. One of their spies must have penetrated to the palace. What will happen now? I love your boy as if he was my own child. We must prepare to flee the palace. Prepare our things for the journey. As you wish, my queen. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play a song. This is a chest? Oh. I was looking at the harp. This looks familiar. This chest looks familiar. <laughs> hey. The insignia should be safe inside. Interesting. Can I put it in? There you go. The insignia is safe. I'll tell the queen's spy. I don't see it. Is that, is that supposed to be it over there? I mean, I was, I was looking at this. This was Bingley Spangling. How do we get out of here? Nothing else. Wow, I have to walk a long way to get to this guy. I have hidden the insignia of power in the Pharaoh's chest. I deem it shall be safe in there. What do you wish me to do now? Take the chest to King Solomon and be very careful for it not to fall into the wrong hands, Nas. The future of our kingdom depends on it. I will be honored to do so, my queen. I pray that I do not fail you. You have always been my loyal servant, Nahas. I believe you will do everything you can to deliver the insignia safely to Solomon. Tell him... I shall go to him as soon as there is peace in my kingdom. My lady, will you tell me how to open the chest? I cannot read the hieroglyphs, but I have a tile with the correct combination engraved on it. I will find it and give it to you. Be careful. If it were lost, we shall never again never regain the insignia. Don't give it to him. What am I doing now? Am I going to look for the... What? Okay. Couldn't have just gotten that in the first place. Save me all this walking. Hmm? What is that? I don't know. Okay, it was the beads. There's the arrow. There's this yoke looks like some kind of ceremonial dagger. We didn't get the arrow. Got something else. What was it? I didn't even catch it. Mm, there's a... Any of these things. Ooh. Hello? What is this? Ah, that's something small. It's a ring. A little boat. A little boat in. Look at it. Reminds me of of uh, Escaper as well. And the room. Little pyramid. Ah, there's the little sun. The what is that? Mm, a little chest. Is that it? Already. What is that yoke? Okay, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need assistance here. That, what is, oh, is that what that is? Huh, I thought that was a gem. Oh, that's the beetle, oh, okay. <laughs> no, don't, don't you dare. <laughs> oh, here we go. I wonder what these hieroglyphs mean. Combination to the chest, I have to give it to uh, Makita's servant. Do I though? Do I really? Should I? Oh, he's here. He followed me into my bed chambers. Oh, that's not good. 
Here's the tile with the hieroglyphs which opened the pharaoh's chest. I will guard it with my life, my queen. Look out for yourself and the chest. Make haste to Solomon. Be his faithful servant until I release you from your duty. As you wish, my lady. Travel through your homeland where you know every bri where you know every blade of grass and nothing can surprise you. If you find yourself in danger, do what you can for the chest to reach the king. Yes, my lady. My countrymen shall come to my aid if I find myself in danger. Farewell, Nahas, and be careful. And you be careful, my lady. I shall wait for you and the prince in Israel. And yourself? Samia, have you prepared everything for our escape? I have, my queen, but my heart aches when I think that I shall never see the prince again. Where will you go? We must flee to save our lives, but I do not yet know where. It must be a place where the aristocrats have no power. My lady, perhaps you should wake the eternal sorceress. She might tell you where you will be safe. The sorceress? She has been asleep for so long. I'm not certain that she could help. Maybe it would be wise to try, my queen. The sorceress is wise. It's a demon! Stay away from her! Um, eternal and can foretell the future. Oh, no! You're gonna ruin everything! All right, Sammy. No! Since when do you take advice from your nursemaid? <laughs> I will do as you advise. As soon as Menelik opens his eyes, prepare him for the journey. As you wish, my lady. Uh-oh. Now what? Now go to meet your doom. <laughs> What are we up here? There's some kind of machine on the terrace. Is this the flight machine? I wonder if someone would be able to fly in it. Hmm. <laughs> what do you want me to do to it? Now what? That's my my journey, my my jur my jur my journal. I can't remember what I read now. To be honest, it's that long ago. As it turned out, Manicot, yeah, Manicot owned an enchanting residence in the jungle. And especially my father died because of tile. Busy. She tried to see the back. Yeah, yeah, okay. I knew that much. Okay. Manikata owned an enchanting residence in the jungle. It was guarded by his bodyguard, which seemed strange at first, but I found out why later. The sponsor was a good host, but he didn't want to talk about my father. However, he told me about his aspirations to create a great African kingdom. He considered himself to be the descendant of Manikata. Menelik the first, the son of Solomon and the queen of Sheba, uh, Makeda. First, he needed to find some powerful artifact which was hidden somewhere in Africa. I'm guessing that's the, the sword thingy. Uh, as it turned out, Menelik caught uh, Jean-Luc killed and shot my father 20 years ago using father's own revolver. Unfortunately, by the time I managed to get it all figured out, the uh, gentleman in question locked me in his jail. I had to find a way to escape, though it wasn't easy. I finally managed to do so. I escaped from the murderer's residence, but not before taking three granite tiles and my father's gun from his safe. I also found a map of Alexandria in Menicott's safe with some markings on it. I decided to stop the killer before he could realize his treacherous plans. I had to find the place marked on the map before Menicott did. I owed it to my father. I'm not sure if I read that before. If I did, I'll skip it. 
Alexandria is a beautiful city. I wonder where the artifact Menicott is looking for is hidden. I hope I'm able to find it first. I met a man selling water by the marketplace. A strange man. I asked him if he knew any interesting places I could visit in Alexandria. He started complaining that he was tired and had no time. It turned out that his water source wasn't working and instead of fixing it, he went to the well to draw water from there and the well was far from the stand. I helped him with the plumbing and he told me to go to the minaret where I could find the Musin. The salesman Moulet told me that the Musin was a wise man and that he could tell me which places Napoleon visited during his stay in Alexandria. The museum turned out to be Musin, not museum. It turned out to be a very nice man who loved to play checkers. He agreed to tell me about the places Napoleon visited in Alexandria and to tell me about the city's history. But there was one catch. I had to beat him in a game of checkers. I've heard about the game, but I had never had an opportunity to play it. Before we could start our game, I had to find the Musin's checkers pieces which had been misplaced by his rowdy grandchildren. Uh, the pieces were lost all over the marketplace. When I found all the checkers, the museum told me the rules of the game. The object of the game is to capture all of the opponent's pieces or to block them so the opponent cannot make a move. White goes first, then players alternate moves. The pieces can move only one square forward at a time diagonally. Unless it's jumping a piece, or two pieces, or more capture a piece you have to jump over it diagonally and land on an empty square just behind it captured pieces are taken off the board pieces are uh, can be captured by moving both forwards and backwards see that's it only kinged ones can move forwards and backwards on a capturing move a player can make multiple jumps yeah capturing is obligatory i chose to play with the white pieces after i won the museums told me about the his museum 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 told me about the history of Alexandria and about Napoleon's stay in the city. He also suggested that I go visit the necropolis. Necropolis. Now even necropolis is one of those words that doesn't seem to be have any meaning for me anymore. Supposedly, Napoleon liked to walk through the gardens of the necropolis. Ah! And devised battle strategies. I went to see if there was anything interesting in the souvenir stand. Souvenir is going to be the next one. I found a few objects that were ne needed to open the necropolis's gate. Uh, I couldn't open the gate if I hadn't found them. Of course I couldn't. Musin, Musin had given me good advice. As soon as I managed to put all the missing elements into their proper places, the gate opened garden was amazing the ancient walls created uh, made me feel as if I had taken a step back in time I think Napoleon could have found a better place to plan or couldn't have found a better place to plan battle strategies the peace and quiet and thousands of years of history that could be felt in the mausoleum really conduced contemplation I met a young woman in the garden her name was Sile it turned out that she was the gardener's caretaker. Sorry, the garden's caretaker and owned a souvenir stand. The museum was her father. That was why the man had told me to go to the stand before I could explore the gardens. He was Celie's father. I told Celie uh, what happened to my father. I also told her about my... We didn't really, though. He only told her he never came back. He never said he was killed. And by who? I also told her about my plans to write a book about him. She told me that she had a few trinkets related with Napoleon on her souvenir stand. Did she, though? She suggested that I take a look. Yes, she just suggested she take a look. You might find some. I don't think she said she actually had. Maybe I'm wrong. I frequently am. I went back to the stand. I found a terribly dirty mirror, which I had to clean. I found a beautiful necklace among the other trinkets. I took the necklace and went back to Sile. The woman told me that an African queen on a mural over the pond wore a similar necklace. She told me that some women had strange visions while wearing the necklace. I don't believe in visions, but I went to see the mural. It portrayed Makida, the Queen of Sheba. Menikot had told me about her. I put on the necklace and 
Dun, dun, dun. I don't know what happened. When I recovered from the shock, I saw a strangely dressed man standing before me. I looked around and saw that I was standing in a beautiful chamber. I walked up to a table on which I saw ancient documents. They were Makita's memoirs. I read Makita's memoirs and decided to pretend I was her. I couldn't believe that the necklace had taken me back in time to the 10th century BC. But that was what must have happened. I had to act like a queen. And how does a queen act? A man entered the chamber. It turned out that he was Makita's loyal spy. He was Nahas, and I knew his name and everything, and I knew he was loyal and all of that, even though I was only pretending to be the queen. Yeah. He told me that the aristocrats had decided to force the queen to abdicate the throne. I found out that I had... That Makita had a child as well. Okay. This, this is even getting confusing for me. The aristocrats wanted to get a hold of the insignia of power, a sword owned by Makita's ancestors. Nahas advised me to take the child and flee to a safe place. He asked me to hide the insignia and escape in Solomon's flying machine. Did he, though? The legend turned out to be true. Solomon did have a flying machine, and he had given it to the woman he loved. I agreed with the spy and set out to find the insignia. No more. I sought out Nahas and ordered him to take the chest and the insignia to Solomon. I asked him to guard it with his life. I had to find... A, how do you pronounce that? Estele? Estele? I, I've, I've gone through this word before. Someone told me what it was and everything. I've forgotten... So much for learning something new every day, what? Which was inscribed with the combination. Oh, okay. Is that. There's no picture of it? No, okay. It's the tile, basically, then. Obviously, yes. Let me do this before. Uh, that opened the chest. Neither I nor Nahas knew how to open it. I entrusted my servant with Makita's insignia and he set off on his way. A young woman, Samia, asked me to turn to the Eternal Sorceress for advice. Samia was Makita's son's foster mother and nanny. The child was named uh, Menelik. Uh, from what I found out reading Makita's memoirs, Samia was very devoted to both the queen and to Menelik, and even treated Menelik as her own son. Everyone in the kingdom thought that Menelik was Samia's son. And that's how, that's how far we've got. Now, now do what? Now we have to fly out in a flying machine, if you know what I mean.